In our last video, I showed how to use an existing project to place cabinets and start designing a custom kitchen. In this video, I'd like to show how to add a worktop and plinths to our project. Here is the kitchen project design in our last video. Let's add a worktop that will cover all the base cabinets. First, let's press the space bar to go back to the 2D window. In the 2D window, I'm going to select the back wall, clicking on it, then Pressing the control key, I'm going to click and drag a selection window over all the base cabinets and taking care to include also the filler element. We can see now the wall and all our cabinets are selected. I'm now going to click the right mouse button and in the menu select create a countertop. Polyboard has now opened the surfaced drawing editor and we can see that it's automatically drawn a worktop over all our cabinets and up against the wall. We can see the plan view and we can see it in the 3D view selected green. Properties of my worktop are actually in its properties list on the right hand side. We can see that its material is actually a glass material but let's change that material and set it to another material that we have in our libraries. I'm going to click on the glass material and in the drop down list I'm going to select generic 0380, a generic quick design material. We can see that by zooming in the worktop is actually drawn exactly the same size as the cabinet plans but I would like to overlap the edge of this worktop so that it extends a bit beyond the cabinet on the front edge. To do this I'm going to click on one of the edges and I can see the edge properties appear in the properties list. One of the properties is overlap. I'm going to change the zero overlap to 30 and we can see that polyboard has automatically added an overlap onto that edge of our worktop. Let's do the same for the other edges. When I click OK, Polyboard adds the worktop. And if I press the space bar to go into 3D, we can now see the new worktop with its overhang placed on top of our base cabinets. Now let's add some plinths to our project. Like fillers, plinths are just cabinets made up of only one part, a plinth. Let's set the drawing to a plan view. In our models list, we can see that there are several types of plinths. If I click on each type, I will see the elevation view above. A simple plinth is just a plinth placed along the front of a cabinet. The plinth FL is a plinth with a return plinth placed along the left side and the same for FR is the return plinth replaced along the right side. Plinth times 3 has both left and right plinths on it. Let's take the simple front plinth and click and drag it onto our drawing. We can see that the plinth will try to snap from the front and from a virtual back because it is in fact a cabinet. If I just place it onto our drawing. I want to set this plinth to the total length of my base cabinets along the back of my wall here. First let's measure the total length between this wall and this wall. I'm going to take the horizontal measure tool, click on this wall, the other wall and we see here we have three meters. Let's put this as a permanent dimension on our drawing by clicking right and clicking permanent dimension. Let's quit the dimensioning tool by clicking again the horizontal dimension button. Now let's set our plinth to the total distance between our two walls. By clicking the plinth I have its properties on the right hand side. The width of the plinth is 3500. 3, let's change that to 3000, the distance between my two walls. The plinth is now redimensioned and if I just click and drag it I can snap it onto the corner of my two walls. Now let's add a return plinth along the left hand cabinets here. I'm going to take the same plinth and drag another copy of it into our room. This time I'm going to click right on the plinth and choose rotate selection and turn it 90 degrees. Now I want this plinth to be the total length of my cabinets here up to the front of the other cabinets and a little beyond because the plinths are actually set back 50 millimeters. So let's measure that distance now. I'm going to take horizontal measure, click the external face of the base cabinet and then drag the dimension up to the front face of the base cabinets along the back wall and I have a dimension here of 1 meter 40 millimeters. I'm going to click right and put this as a permanent dimension too. I'm going to quit the measuring tool by clicking the horizontal measure button and select the plinth and set its length to 1040 millimeters plus 50 millimeters which is the setback from the front of the cabinet of the other plinth. 
that will make its total width of 1090 millimeters. When Paul asks if I want to save the modifications in the same plinth model, I'm going to say no, that I want to create a new model. And this time I'm going to create a new model plinth and I'm going to call this plinth 1090. We can see the plinth has been redimensioned and I can now snap it again onto the outside of my cabinet here. Note that I'm snapping it to the left hand side of this cabinet and it will now line up perfectly up against plinth I placed in previously. Let's have a look at our 3D now. To finish our project let's add a few final accessories. Let's go back to the 2D view by pressing the spacebar and let's add a end panel to our cabinets. I'm going to click in the models list, base end panel, drag it onto our kitchen floor, select it, click right and select rotate selection, turning it 90 degrees. Then click and drag it and snapping it onto the end of our base cabinet here. Now let's add a glass hood. I'm going to click outside my project so that the general project parameters appear in the properties of the window here. We have a section in the general properties called default elevation. I'm going to set default elevation to 1400. I'm now going to the models list and choose the glass hood model. I'm going to drag and drop the glass hood into my project, right click, rotate 90 degrees and then drag and drop the glass hood and snap it onto the corner of my wall here. Let's have a look in 3D what this gives. To finish our example project, let's just add a cooker top underneath our glass hood. To do that, I'm going to click outside the project, look at the general properties of the project, set the default elevation back to zero, and select in the models list, set stove top. I'm going to drag the stove top onto my floor, click right, and rotate it to 90 degrees again. I'm now just going to grab that stove top and clip it onto one of my cabinets. If I look in 3D, we can now see that the cooker top has been placed on the worktop. It's now very easy to continue enhancing your design by adding other elements to the kitchen project. Here we've added a sink and some tiling along the back walls. This concludes our introductory videos on setting up a kitchen project with Polyboard and Quick Design. In our following videos we will show you how to change this design very quickly using our quick design libraries. Thank you for looking.